are co-hosting the Golden Globes with That's your right. good friend Tina Fey. That's you, right. This is great. This is fantastic. I know. I'm really excited. The Golden Globes are a very drunken evening. Yeah. Uh, they serve, uh, unlike yeah, some Oscars, of the, some Emmys, of the they other, serve... Yeah, um, things that you kind of sit in chairs like, you know, you would a theater, but this is you sit at a table and the people get to drink. So the crowd is pretty drunk, which is always makes for a good crowd, like, like your audience this evening. <laughs> Our crowd, our crowd's been preparing for weeks <laughs> of solid, just, just, of solid training drinking. For the cone show. Do you, do you, uh, have you performed for crowds that are under the influence before? Because well, it can get tricky. I, I w once was a judge at the Cannabis Cup in Amsterdam. Is, is that real? It is a real. Thank you, thank you. It's a real event where people from all over the world come to try different weed and say which is the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, we weirdly, um, Upright Citizens Brigade, the group that I'm in, performed open for Patti Smith. Um, and it was really strange. You did improv as opening <laughs> yes. for Patti Smith at a cannabis competition. That's right. And I love this. The, the this is entire, fantastic. The entire audience was so stoned. Um, and nobody knew what was going on. And the guy that was running the, the, the light and sound board, we gave him a list of our cues. Like, turn the lights out here, turn the music on here, and about... 20 minutes before we were supposed to go on, he just said, um, I got some bad news, I lost the list. <laughs> <laughs> this is the guy running the yeah, show. The That's very like, nice. Okay, well, there you go. That's yeah. Well, you, I mean, the Golden Globes, that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, you guys will you, be great. Now, you have any advice for me? You've hosted many things. I've hosted things. Uh, I get too, uh, I get real, like, crazy beforehand, like, and I... Uh, what do you mean? I mean, preparing and making oh, sure, yeah. like, will this work? How will this do? How will that do? And I torture everyone around me mm -hmm. and trying stuff out on them, and they're like, enough already. Just go do it, and then never host one again, because mm -hmm. it makes them miserable. But then you guys will be amazing. No, I mean, lower your expectations, please. Okay. <laughs> You'll barely survive be the amazing. evening. Yeah. You'll be adequate. What a terrible yeah. thing to say to someone. You'll be amazing. Okay, how about this? <laughs> I doubt you'll show up. There we go. <laughs> See? Now you just show up and you're there. <laughs> you have uh, two kids. I do. How old are they? They're four and two, two boys. Now, you used to tell me when they were first born that you had the habit of swearing around them and that you were worried <laughs> about it as they're getting older. Obviously, when they're a year old, two years old, yes. you don't worry about it. Now that they're yes. getting older, are you worried about swearing? Well, you know, I don't, I'm not, I, have a, I don't have a filthy mouth, but I, I'm an adult. <laughs> but um, a I've gotten. Filthy adult. I'm a filthy, <laughs> dirty, dirty adult. Um, I've gotten. I but I have gotten much better because now they're at that age where they're listening to everything and hearing everything. When when they're when I'm around newborns, I just I let it rip. I just say whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what are, you, are, you, are you swearing at them? Yeah, I, <laughs> them. I, try to, I shake them yeah. really hard and I swear at them. Yeah. <laughs> hey, asshole. <laughs> Yeah. That's how you sue the newborn. You wrap them up, you shake them really hard, you swear at them, <laughs> put them in a dark room. And then they're like, oh. And they're like, ah. Um, no, but, but Archie, my oldest one, is he's four, and he still has a few sayings that he kind of, we don't correct him on because they're really cute. You know, like when your kid says something kind of cute and you just don't want to change it. You hope that they say it forever. You yeah. hope that they do. And he says grown ups instead of grown ups, which is adorable. <laughs> So he'll be like, I need to, you know, are you, mama, you're a grown up. And I just like, and I never want to fix it so that when he gets old and he's in like his first relationship, he's going to be like, I am a grown up. <laughs> I, I have grown up needs. That's why I can't commit to you, Debra. Now, Whatever his wife's name is. <laughs> You have two boys. Uh, I have a boy and a girl, and there's a big difference. Two so boys. Girls, girls are so smart. So early. So early. So sophisticated. The girls in, in Archie's class, like, they're like, we can't wait for Santa and Christmas time, and it's a wonderful season, and so much to celebrate. And Archie's like, you know, when I eat food, it comes out of my butt. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's right. It comes out of your butt. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's the difference. I feel yeah, those, yeah, but those, uh, those girls are believing in fairy tales. He's dealing with science. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm dealing with human, the human body. These are facts. These can be proven.